This is what happens when you take a discount Nerf Blaster, put wheels on it, and turn it into a drone. Now, the base blaster itself, it is a Air Warriors Cyclonic. Not te technically not Nerf, but accepts Nerf magazines. Without issue. Now, this thing has been modified, so it, it's right now it has three motors. Two motors for the flywheels and one motor for the plunger that pushes the dart into the flywheels. The flywheels are these two white wheels you can see here. When the dart, when the plunger pushes the dart into them, these wheels will be spinning super fast. These, when a dart is pushed into them, it would, slot, it would fire the dart at an extremely fast pace. Originally, this thing ran on four AA batteries with a total of six volts, each, ba each AA battery being 1.5. I've modified it to accept two batteries, and these two batteries are, I are LMR, or LMR battery, or no, IMR batteries. Each of these batteries is 3.7 volts each, so the total voltage right now is 7.4 volts. There are also two more IMRs here and here. These are two separate IMRs. They are not li linked up together. They are, they are connected in the same circuit, but they are not linked together in the series for drive, tr for drive controlling reasons. There are technically four power sources, two for the ballaster, one for each, two separate power sources for the drive control. And one power, one battery right here to power the ESP32 that is controlling everything. There's also an Arduino relay board right here that is that is controlling all the switches for the drive controls and for the fire. This is the circuit that I've used, I've created for the controls. Now I've labeled everything to switch A, B, C, and D. If I want to go forward, I would toggle switch A and switch C. If I wanted to go back, B and D. If I wanted to go left, I would toggle switch B and switch C. If I wanted to go right, switch A and switch D. Now, if I can, I cannot in any way toggle A or B because if I do that, this will complete a circuit. A, this will complete a circuit between the batteries itself only, and that will cause everything to short out. The same applies to switch C and switch D. These cannot be toggled together or the battery will short out. Now, for the blink application, I have a basic layout. One big button for firing and a big jo joystick button for the, control for the directional controls. It follows, so, toggles the same switches right here in order to get for the, contro for the controls. Now, let's now let's test this and show you. Let's fill this up and show you how it works. It is now not that play. The device is currently connected. Now, now the motors I used here are cheap motors. So the obviously the um, they're they're not exactly the same. The qual the quality control is pretty terrible. So. You're gonna, we're gonna have issues. Now, obviously, if I want if I want to go forward, it will go forward. But because the motors are cheap motors and quality is, quality control is terrible, the motors are, don't exactly go at the exact same time. And going back, the same thing. Now, if I wanted to turn left, it's turning left. If I want to turn, if I want to to, to, to turn right. It is now turning right. And let's point this at the couch. And if I want to fire, there's a button. And that is it.